right, everybody, we got the uh, 51 Navy out here. The, it was made in 1863. Now we're going to load it. Today we're going to be loading it with these conical bullets, which are replicas of the Colt Cartridge Works 36 caliber, which uh, I, I got the molds from a company called Eras Gone Bullet Mold. And I casted it myself. I'm not the greatest caster, but they came out okay. Um, we're going to be loading it with around 25 to 20, 25 grains of black powder. Um, this throws 15 per, per throw, which is the way it works is you hold this spring load. It's got a little gate on the inside. You put your finger over it, throw it down, and when you close it, it fills the straw up with black powder. And so what we'll do is we'll load this cylinder right here. Now we're going to do about one and a half of those to make sure we got enough powder here. A little, a little more, right about there. All right, so now we're going to take a conical bullet, oops, stick it over the powder, rotate it under this chamber here, and grabbing this lever, pull it all home and compress it down. Now the ring fell off, but you want a ring of lead, and the ring of lead basically shows that, ah, it's right here, the ring of lead basically shows you got a nice good seal. Now after that, we're going to put some of my homemade lube here, which is 50-50 uh, lamb's tallow and beeswax. And you grab it, stick it over the cylinder, or the, the bullet, and you just cram it on in home. And it gets everywhere, but this is the way it was done, guys, during the Civil War and after the fact. So, I'm going to load up the next five on my own. So, alright guys. Alright, so the last part of the loading, now that they're all loaded, is you're going to put caps on, which, this is a little snail capper. You stick it on the end there, and pull it off. And that little uh, brass looking little cap there, is what actually sets the spark off, that sets the powder, which then pushes the bullet through the barrel. So one more quick thing on the 51 Navy is in between the cylinder there's a tiny little pin sticking out and on the head of the, the hammer here there's a notch cut and you can drop this in between the cylinder which locks the cylinder up so you can holster this with all six rounds filled. Now I did choose to fill it with six rounds. Um, a lot of people don't like putting six rounds in but that's what we're going to go with, with today. So before we get to the shooting, I just want to get my excuses out of the way now. For some some crazy reason, when we were here that day, I could hit everything perfectly fine with the camera off. Once the camera was on, I couldn't hit anything. With every gun that I filmed with that day, I just couldn't hit anything. It definitely wasn't the gun, it was definitely me. So, at least enjoy guys. Alright, we got six targets. Uh, five clays and a soda bottle. I don't know where this gun is hitting. It's been a long time since I've shot it. Plus the uh, <laughs> the front sight was replaced recently and we just kind of threw one on. We didn't really. So let's see where it's hitting. Really high. Really, really, really high. Still really high. Uh, hold on. We got a cap jam. All right. So we just had a quick cap jam. I just fixed it. So that's why we uh, changed the scene here. Wow, that was like two feet low. Hold that thought. Right, keep going. I'm gonna just go for the soda bottle this time. And I missed it from here. This is a second cylinder load. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna be shooting this gun just because it's just so far off. I really need to come out, bench it, and actually um, mess with it and try to get it to closer point of aim. We're like 10 yards. And the clay I did hit, I was shooting like three feet low at 10 yards. So um, let's go for this soda bottle, see what happens. Well, we got it. Let's see if our luck keeps up. That ricocheted. Still high. Okay. One last one. Ah, still too high. Hey guys, so this is gonna be my last cylinder through this gun. And I don't want this to detract on people. These guns are extremely accurate. It's just the sights are not right on this gun. The front sight pulse needs to be taller. Got 
that one. Caught that one. Got that one, yeah! Let me go for the water bottle a couple times. Hey, I got him again. And again. And again. Alright, so, as you see, there's 251 navies. They were actually made in the same year. Uh, the only difference is, later on in its life, this gun was converted to shoot cartridges.